and we're back. So I have done some work. I have managed to basically replayed most of the last episode. Um, so now we haven't been booted from the Thieves Guild. I got back just in time. Turns out if we'd run back here as soon as we'd entered um, the Shadow Temple, we would be just in time. So we are now up 4,000 gold. Considering we have 9,000 gold, I wasn't prepared to just lose that much money. So had to replay it. Didn't take too long. Um, what was different was I, I used more project image and summoning of skeletons, which was kind of cool actually. Um, but yeah, otherwise everything went pretty much the same as before. I can't see any real difference. Um, we got slightly more experience points because I uh, raided a few traps, which I think might have put us... I think this is the same level, so yeah. Uh, one thing I noticed, whilst... So our, -wep our weapon before was the Vascona, which we had in the first game, if you remember. And while it does 1d8 plus 2 plus 1 cold, this one does 2d4, which is just slightly better than 1d8, um, plus 3, which is definitely better, will hit more things. Fire damage less, less great, but I'm pretty sure this is a bastard sword, which means that we can't backstab with it. So I'll be testing this. It sounds like a bit of a pain to always be switching out weapons just to backstab, so this might be... we'll experiment. But, yeah. For now, we've got an extra sword if we want it. Um, now, the first thing I want to do, I want to see if we can take out the Cowled Wizards, because I'm fed up on not being able to cast spells in Athkatla. So this first section is going to be kind of a bit of a spam, really. You may like this, you may not, but I want to see us dealing with these Cowled Wizards. Did a little bit of testing off camera, and it turns out this is the best place to fight them. So up here, for example, we have a small landing and two exits here. So I can put a couple of traps down, cast a spell, and then summon the Cowled Wizards. Best of all, I can cast in here. This is a safe zone. So we're going to do a little bit of experimentation. Um, we shouldn't need too many spells, honestly, just the basics. Protection for magical energy. Oh, I did want Spell Trap, but... Mm. Also, we can get rid of this spell. We've got now got that, um... <clears throat> pardon me. We now have the, the Cloak of Lightning Resistance, so... That's basically every spell defensive spell we would ever need, so, well, for the moment it's good enough, I think. It may prove not to be, come to think of it. Um, so, we'll put down some traps here, and I'll sort of space them out a bit, because I want some of them to be useful if, if they'll trigger at once, you kind of get middling responses, middling results, so. It's probably enough. So now, to test this, Let's see if I can. Hmm. Let's cast something innocuous, something we don't, we're going to really need, like Wizard's Eye. Here's the Enforcer coming in. We get near the doorway so we can get out. Declare yourself. Yep, unlicensed, unsanctioned, that's us. Bring them on. Send them up, I'll wait. Every trap triggers. Mostly dead, a couple of them are still around. So now we can sneak around here. And probably go upstairs, because it'll be a little bit better. Notice the game still seems to render areas directly external to the map. Oh. Now, what defenses does this Enforcer have? Looks like there's no stone skin. I would suggest that's a normal missiles. So if we use a magical arrow, it should go straight through. We just got teleported, which actually is a problem. Ah. Uh, so we need to get back in here. Okay. Let's break away and see what we can get. Wizard's Eye will keep a good watch out over there. Shroud 
See if I can get in closer and kill this dude. Now break off. Invisible, that's good. We can work with invisible. Stealth. Okay, actually the teleport field is quite annoying. It looks like we might be able to get this way though. Can I get down any other way? Ooh, Acid Storm. Let's see if we can get... Let's we'll see if we can break the invisibility. Oh, okay, you have... Oh, stone skin, everything up. That's not good. Shield blocks magic missiles. Uh, we're in trouble here. She's got all kinds of defenses happening. Okay. Let's break off and see what we can do. I'm going to quickly put down one of these to avoid... That would give us defenses against... Yeah, let's boost our saving throws while we're here. Can we get back down the other way? Shadow door. Okay. We're going to run this way. And try and get a shot off here. Hmm. Yeah, so before I just used way more traps and kind of just instantly killed anyone who teleported in here. I'm using a few less because it seems a bit, um, a bit cheap. I'm going to avoid putting down massive, massive strings of traps. It's just very effective, but kind of cheapens the game a bit. There goes a teleport field. That's a good thing. And I would suggest that some of her buffs would have come off in that much time. Invisible, normal missiles, stone skin. The stone skin's the problem. What if we can... If we can chuck a remove magic up here, which we haven't got memorized. And last time I actually planned out my spells. She's found us. Break the visibility, come on. Brando Barris, shroud me in your darkness. How can we deal with her? What can we use to break through her defenses? Well, we've invisible to her now. Hmm. Let's just put down a disabling trap. That her dark hair if we can get that to trigger, it might knock her out. That her dark hair would weave a snare. Follow me. Protection by mantle. Fetid air and gritty of the that hit her. That means something timed out. Her stone skin's in effect. I wonder if we put down another trap, we can take her out here. That her dark hair would weave a snare. Okay, that's the first encounter sorted. So that's sort of the that's kind of our plan here. If we can deal with the uh, intruders here that'll work nicely now i think we have to rest before like between each encounter let's just quickly go through here and reorder our spells the first thing i want to get rid of is this one we don't need it uh, we want spell shield mm, i might take one less spell immunity we need spell immunity mantle Actually, symbol stun. Now, does it say verse, but that might be really useful. We've got one. Um, project image is really powerful, but two is enough. Hmm. Let's 
spell deflection, protection. Actually, global vulnerability is really powerful. I'm trying to think which effect it blocks. There's one effect. Oh, yeah, area of effect fireballs. Um, so, I'm not sure if it's the case here, but in testing, I found that if I was hit by an area of, of effect spell, like a fireball or a skull trap, this would block it. So, that's actually a, a really important sort of key. Whether it's worth just going with the original lobe of invulnerability makes as much sense, I think, but why not? Uh, I, we need one more of these. I think it's probably not worth taking Mel's Minute Meteors. Uh, we'll take one of these off. Good to have flexibility. And some enemies you just need it for. Happy with all that. Happy with all that. Cool. So now we can take a rest. And do a proper reset. Spend skins in effect. <laughs> yeah, spell shield, super important. That blocks one attack, one attempt from a spellcaster to, to strip your magical protections. And it's brilliant. Of invulnerability. So anything fourth level and below, including AoEs, it blocks. We'll leave that in reserve. This one, I think, spell immunity, I believe you can cast it at will. So, pretty cool. Okay, let's pop down some traps. That's probably enough, I'd say. It's still a lot. I think the limit in the original game is five. I'm happy to go to seven, I think, at a time, just because we're solo, but... All right, while we're here, we may as well summon a skeleton. Now oh, you're here again. Declare yourself. Yep. It does strike me, but that kind of indicating that we are part of a Thieves' Guild here, but... That killed almost everyone except for him. You kill him. Well, that didn't work. Alright, we're going to drop out of here. So now I believe he'll try and fight our skeleton. And we'll waste spells. Because he is still here. There's actually two remaining. Let's see if I can locate the other one. And we'll put down a remove magic here as well. There's someone here. There is definitely someone here. Hey, I think that took out his protections. It's invisible again. Contingency. Well, we can break that. Blur and mirror imaged. There's two. So run inside. Randall Barris, shroud me in your darkness. Now are either of these vulnerable? Yes. The one with like no health. Our skeleton can probably just smack him. And I think actually we can shoot him with a bow and that'll work as well. There he goes, he's out. You're going to get some good experience and some good scrolls too from this, so should be good. Oh, he ran inside. No, he didn't. Where is this guy? Barris, Teleport field. Super annoying. I 
A good defense is considering. He has every defense on. We're out of abilities to block him. What can I use? You know, next time I'm going to use a... Hmm. Let's give him another summon. That will burn his... His defenses. He'll burn his spells on us. Oh, there's two. Oh. Go and get him. It's more about getting him to just waste all those spells. <laughs> yeah, he's just burning off his spells. Let's let you get up here. Yeah, perfect. He's running out of spells and his binding his um his stored spells will be weakening too. Is there anything else I can send up here? Uh, let's try a skull trap. Oh was there a someone up there? A civilian? We will find out soon. I think we're actually doing some good damage. Let's order everyone back up there. He has still got what are the, what defenses? Stone skin, two stone skins. It would seem. I'm guessing that's an error. He's got minor globe, normal missiles, bit of everything really. We need more remove magics, I think. Hang on, only minor globe. That'll block anything from here up. Deflection, so nothing direct can hit him. I would try a cloud kill, but it'll probably kill other people. Let's see if a symbol stun will get through. Spell casting fail. Yeah, well. Let's give it a second here. These two will sort of work on each other. Oh, that hit. Yeah, there goes his defenses. All right, guys, let's just take him out. Got him. Okay. So as you can see, this is how we can steadily work through the cow wizards. Also, I can see what happens next with our thieves by sleeping and resting. Having a good recovery day. Acid Storm. I haven't think it... I haven't really used this before. Level 7 is a pretty high level spell, but that would mean it would be useful in situations where someone's blocking fireballs and things. And acid is less often to be resisted, so that's good to have. Oh my god. So much sweet loot as well. Okay. Let's have a nap. Let's look at what spells we need. So we actually needed more remove magic spells, like a lot more. So I can probably get rid of one of these. Probably get rid of that. There we go. Um, a 12 foot area of effect. It's going to end up killing someone up there. Is the only problem. Hmm. Potentially a chain lightning. No, we're good. I think it was just that that I wanted to fix. I think that's the main thing. I might get rid of the cloud kill just for this moment because we need more summons to break through defenses. So yeah, there are plenty of ways to break through things like like stone skin. The best thing I find is, um, I mean, breach is optimum, but usually someone who's breachable often, well, isn't breachable because they have, they have spell defenses. Um, but if you hit someone enough times, their stone skin falls out, falls out which is true for us too. We've got to be careful. I love the casting animations. How is that 
eye roll of a kid who would um, try and get my friends playing these sort of games at school, both the actual game itself, but also in the playground, you know. I'd try and teach them different spells. Yeah, it didn't, <laughs> didn't really catch on, as you can well imagine. Half the battle is just knowing how nerdy you are. Between this and flight sim games, there's, there's just not much hope for me, really. Okay, let's rock on out here, put down a whole heap of traps. I reckon a, a spike trap is good because it kills one of them absolutely. They're not, most of them aren't failing their saves for the alchemical traps, so it's still subdual damage, which is good. And one acid trap if we can. Make that two. Let's, let's lash out and make it a second trap. Cool, so that's now summon something. Yeah, the idea is to make the cow wizards so afraid of fighting us that they don't come over anymore. Declare yourself. Yep. Did we leave anyone alive? Okay, let's try and break this guy. Because he's not hostile, I think this one generally survives the opening trap, so... Ooh, we hit him pretty hard. I reckon we can drag him into a trap. Protection from... So he's got mantle up. So a spell will do it. Oh, he hit a trap. That's all of them. Excellent. We can now afford... To put down some more traps and get the next mob through. Assuming these traps still work. I think they don't after a, after a time. This is going to be the last battle, so I might exceed our trap limit just a whisker. We've got enough traps now that we should really be setting them as we go through dungeons on the regular. So we can always have a, a fallback line. Unfortunately, they're not very useful against um, undead, so... If I nap here... Your thieves have returned from a mission. Excellent. Again, these are defensive spells. Probably aren't really necessary. We could just hide and run and gun, but it's useful in case the battle does go poorly. Actually, I remember I actually... I was on an excursion, and um, we were sent... Well, actually, a camp. And um, I'm on the bus, and I'm just flicking through my Baldur's Gate 2 manual, because, yep, that's the kind of kid I was. And, um, oh, I didn't need him. And the kid next to me is like, oh, you play that too. And so we had this mad chat. We read the manual together. Very cool. Let's just put down a couple of traps, because I fear these may not trigger. And if they don't, we're in massive, massive trouble. I'll put down just a couple. <laughs> Tempest five minutes ago. I won't abuse the traps. Seconds later, there's like 50 different traps down here now. Okay, that's enough. Let's summon something. Hopefully the final battle. There he is. Like clockwork. God, it's not the final battle yet. Okay. Attack him. That was a critical hit, but his his defenses came in at in one second and blocked them. I'm pretty sure half those traps did not trigger. Let's see what his defenses are like. Stone skin, mantle. Okay, there's no point fighting someone with mantle. I'm gonna dive in until that discharges. Randall Barris, shroud me. Gonna burn his spells. In fact, let's summon a few more. It seems to me that we can't get a second cow wizard. Oh no. He just trying to like punch me. Randall Barris, shroud me in your that 
teleport field is annoying though, isn't it? Aha, we know where he is now. He had a sequencer of two chromatic orbs. Very small chance of that being very lethal, actually. Dispel effects. Go and get him, boys. What's he got left? No physical defenses at all. He is stuffed. Let's hold our fire until he goes to cast, and then we will try and block his... Nope, missed it. That's okay. Keep hitting him, boys. He's just got a stone, a stone skin. In fact, I will assist. Best thing too, the acid is getting through the stone skins. The physical damage isn't. I don't know what that's going to be. Secret word. That'll def take off one of my defenses. And now he's dead. Alright. Mm, suffocate. I want to say this might be another Icewind Dale spell. Maybe not. Level 7. Okay. Is it a save versus saving throw navigates all effects? See, minus four armor class, minus four to hit, minus four dexterity. That would be great if it would land, but you'd need it to land. And level seven's an expensive slot. It's a good spell. Well, I prefer being totally immune to a single element than partially immune to all of them. All right. Let's go talk to our thieves, because I'm a bit sick of killing cow wizards for the moment. God, what a wonderful sentence that is. Uh, is there someone else here? No, it's just the... the theme jig. Alright, let's talk to our thieves and see how they went. Uh, there's a couple here. Yeah, they seem to have all made it back. It's time to see how your thieves function with their last set of instructions. I'll begin with Hans. Wasn't he the prince out of Frozen? A nice prophet. Yeah, we gave him a pretty simple job. Mm -hmm. Some good money. We gave a lot of them pretty difficult... Oh, that's right. I want to give them more of a challenge, I think, next time. Oh. Okay, we didn't give her any instructions. Let's um, change her instructions. Let's be a bit riskier. Higher return as possible. Mm. Individuals make more money. I think it's not too bad if we lose one or two, if they get captured, because I think the rewards are much better. I think overall, the balance... Oh, actually, I was reading through the, the wiki page and explained you are better off just having pretty high risk sort of thingamajigs. Take the chance. Goshen. Mm. Yep, more gold. Exterminations. We aren't really an assassin's guild. Information gathering. Krator. Mm. Go to the rich, rich areas. Oh, that's right, slavery. We won't do that. And Varia, who we haven't actually set up before. Cool. I would expect a couple, of, one or two of them to be captured, but we shall see. Okay. I reckon we're due for one more 
battle against the cowled wizards, and then we're done with them. And then I can actually cast spells properly. Okay, let's... I'll just rest and get my health back too. Uncomfortably close to um, being de sort of death spelled or powered killed. Hmm. Definitely overkill, but you know, there's no kill like an overkill. I reckon they're going to send their best this time. That protection from elements spell, super important. We do not want to catch an Abadalsum's horrid wilting. That's how you end a run very quickly. Uh, leave him off for the moment. You know what though, actually? I will go... Around the level. I will go... Abjuration. There we go. Let us go then, you and I. Alright. The big traps first. Acid. Acid's a great trap. Most enemies aren't really immune to it. I'm putting those traps out a bit further in case the fights extend out and there are disabling traps so it should be useful to stopping I reckon one more maybe just one more it's an addiction really okay let's pop down our little skeleton friend final battle come on oh he's right in the doorway I'm gonna move up here so we can guarantee getting out. Yes, it is I. Oh, this is the... He's almost dead, look at that. He has to have a mantle up. Oh, it was a critical miss. Let's break off for a second. Is that one of our skeleton warriors down there? No, it's one of his. Perfect. You guys just fight it out. I'm also going to dispel. I'll move back a little bit. And now I should be able to reattack. Now, this enforcer. There's apparently two here. I need to be careful. I may even send up another remove magic and a skull trap hit the enforcer he's got f some more hit points to survive that though oh our skeleton warrior is doing really well cool he's kind of bottled himself up in there which is good no more skull traps. Let's get another skeleton up there. There we go. There's another one just revealed itself. Let's get some remove magic up there to assist him. Absolute immunity. Okay. Let's go and have a look at what we're dealing with. Uh, more skeletons. Oh, our trap blinded him. Can't hit us, we've got the globe and vulnerability up. And he realized that's why he's running. Perfect. Fire. 
There's two up there. Visibility. See, all these spells are triggering. That's great, but that's spells they won't have later. Go and get them. Lower resistance. Oh, look at that. That's a trigger. Very cool. Let's see if we can... Uh, there's not much else I can really summon. That killed the uh, wizard's eye. Fair enough. Traps it is. That her dark hair would weave a snare. One of them's blinded too, which should be handy. Let him just burn those spells. You know, they will talk about the grand spell battles of Askatla for some years, I think. Let's have a look. Actually, I'll let my skeleton go first. Yeah, they're being teleported away. They're taking a beating, but they're doing the job they need to do, which is resist resisting spells and having them cast. Look at that. You know, a sequencer of chromatic orbs. Nothing I can do to disable them. What would work here? Lightning could do, but it may hit a civilian. I wonder if maybe Webb will do the trick. Uh, spell ineffective, yeah, all kinds of defenses to block that. Okay. Worth a try. Some more traps, I think. And now it's a game of patience. Yeah, if they're using magical missiles, means they're out of better options. We've summoned some shadows. I could death spell them if I had the death spell, which I do not. Oh, it's daytime. Oh, it's nighttime. Fair enough. Mm, time stop. Oh. That's a nasty spell. You can see why I'm taking this battle seriously, but that skeleton is copying all of the magic. Oof, nasty. See, at least SCS plays it fair. They've got to have the spell in their book to cast it. So if I don't have the spell... Oh! One of them's held. Let's see if we can risk it. What can we carry? It makes us immune to hold. But not web. That's the critical part of this. Um, I think it's worth the risk. This is the guy here. He's held. This guy's dead now. I'll get Aiden out of the hot zone just for a second. There should be one more Cowled Enforcer with five hit points. And I think our skeleton may be able to handle it on his own. Oh, that's that Obad that's that spell there, that one there. Nasty. At least now I know where you are. You'll probably cast something up there to cause you some hassle. Yeah. It's a nasty spell, that one. Stone skin, more shadows. 
But the skeleton warrior just eats the shadows. And he seemed to have moved away from the web. What's he got happening? Defended against that. Spell deflections. So we probably can just get him with acid arrows, come to think of it. Because they will go through the stone skin. And he only has spell resistances now. There you go. Go hit him. Got him. The acid broke through. Alright, we're still not done with the cow wizards. I think what I might do... Let's do one more. We'll, we'll just overdo it. We'll go completely nuts with it. I just want to also pay my dues to the thieves guy. The thieves guy. While I'm here. I'm also going to just overdo the traps, just so we can get through this. Getting some good experience points too. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but... And that immunity to... Um, to abjuration but means basically that we can't be just straight up dispelled and that locks our defenses in place and the enemy will use it too. Mantle if we need it. I don't think we will. No, no, we've got that already. Really, it's just this one. Okay, let's trap the crap out of this place. Yeah, it's, the spike trap is just brutal. I will expand them out a bit more, because we seem to be regularly killing off the first main group. But let's see if we can... Wherever they go to, wherever they run to, there's another trap waiting for them. Oh, we've got our traps from here too. They might still be in effect. I suspect they're not. Let's say that's enough. No, one more. He's right there. Oh, make sure I can get out. I'm just going to run here just in case. Your transgressions against the cowled wizards have come to an end. Prepare to feel the wrath of the highest members of our order. As I said, I have never fought the Cow Wizards like this before. I've just always paid the fine, paid the um, paid for the license and moved on with my life. But no, Aiden is well sick of meddling fools like this. And they're all dead. Are they all dead? Oh. Well, that does it. I think we're good to cast spells at will now. Chest with legs or something. Protection from cold scroll. Monster summoning. Oh, what does this one do? Monster summoning six. It's an eight level spell. Don't think it's terribly good. Those spells aren't really much chop at the end of the day. Okay. Well, we've got more sweet loot to grab. Prismatics. Okay, gate's a great spell. So gate allows us to bring forth a demon. It's a level 9 spell. Here comes the experience points. Prismatic spray. Kind of risky because it can disintegrate your enemies, but we'll use it at least once, I'm sure. And experience point wise. Yep, we did well. Okay. Well, look, that's all I really want to focus on for this episode. I'll keep it nice and short, short and sweet. Um, we've sent out our rogues once again to do their, their stuff. And I think we might head to trade meet after this. And yes. All right, cool. Well, I'll make the cut here. Thanks for watching this little short video, but I just wanted to get in, get rid of the cow wizards so we can actually do some proper missions around Athkartla. At this point, the cow wizards are just like shaking their heads. The few that are left, uh, they've attended what, like 12 funerals in the last week or so. They're going to leave us alone from now on. So yeah.
I'll see you for the next one. Catch you later.